Hello guys, this is Lana from Highlight Your Wrinkles Photography. Today I would like to share with you how to edit haze photo. Alright, this is one of straight off camera. You know this photo shoot was uh, last Friday. I have a video I'll put over here in this description and let's go into the Lightroom. I want to start right from there. All right, this is our Lightroom. This is our image. As you see, there is no changes made, so I'll reset just in case. And the first one I want to start, just go back, uh, just go down, scroll down to the to the end and effects. Uh, we are going to effects and uh, we're gonna dehaze over here and we'll slide our slider to the right until you see the point where you like your image, okay? I love my image. I love that much. All right, you, it looked like a little too much yellow on his ears and on Kit's uh, hair. So let's go to some saturation. All right, and here it is. And we slide orange a little bit to the left. So to get rid of this orange hair and an ear. All right, maybe too much. Let, let's give a little more color. Okay. I think I'll give a little more because in my plan, since I don't like this um, uh, gradient uh, skies, but since I absolutely love how gradient is over here, so I will add sun uh, right on here. And this is uh, honestly, this was uh, sun was already set behind this mountain because this be behind this hill, so it will be just recreate the sun. All right, so let me move a couple sliders. So I'll I'll add contrast. My my first teacher when we were developing our film, the only problem that everybody that everybody had the same problem, and his only words more contrast, more contrast. So probably that's why my images are so contrasty, so vibrant. That's because of my Randy Snook. All right. All right. Couple sliders here and there. And I'm ready to open this in Photoshop. Edit in Adobe Photoshop. Okay. I. It's open. So, um, the only thing that bother me, those white leftovers we can use some patch tool or healing brush just hold alt key click it and just slide it to get rid of this not here probably this is only salt over there all right looks good to me so what i like to create a new layer and we'll recreate the sun since it was a very foggy rainy day all right so let's hit Oops, sorry. Let's hit to the to our solid color is let's choose orange. We'll just this is this is the darkest orange that we're gonna have. Alright. And I'm gonna do does we can enlarge later transform so but I want I want I will create a little smaller and then we'll move this layer wherever we want. So I will click twice then let's go back to the foreground and so we're gonna move this way so two times one more lighter color we'll recite the brush twice and let's go to the white let's recite the brush not too much all right okay now we are going to, I hit move tool and since it's automatically, it's uh, marked that uh, it asked me if I want to show transform control, yes I want, so that's why I have these. In case you don't see those, uh, click control T, hold shift key and 
enlarge. So now we're going to move right over here. Maybe we're going to enlarge a little more just to fill this gradient. So just to fill it. All right, click OK and change layer, blend layer to screen. All right, I looks like I'm giving back this um, uh, haze, but compared to this one, it has a story. Actually, that has a story too. All right, I love it absolutely let so if we move this way so we have this gradient right over here or let's see if we can make it smaller yes I think that's gonna be even better all right I love it that's it we created an image go ahead and flatten the image and if you want uh, just um, if uh, just uh, burn and dodge where you think maybe, maybe what I want to do, I like actually colors, the uh, white, yeah, uh, yeah, white, blue, and red. They are standout colors. Since we are going to tell a story about a 4th of July, that's why I love this color in case you want to add some green. Uh, just because I see moth over there let's see if we can add this I love this green alright and let's see on the opacity maybe 10 alright we'll, we'll add a little green and we'll see which one is better the way it was or as we changed Alright. Obviously where the more water it has to be more mossy. Alright. Before after. I don't know which one I like the most, but just a little think ideas. I think I like both, but maybe uh without a mouth. Alright without the green. All right, uh, let's go ahead and flatten the image and let's compare before and uh, completely hazy, out of color. If we um, just, we could do this over here and we could, if in case you don't want Lightroom, but I love Lightroom. It has the uh, sliders that we need. We need it and absolutely Love it. Very fast. Lighter one here and one there. And we have a beautiful image. So I'm going to flatten the image. And thank you for watching. That was Lana Vronska from Highlight Your Wrinkles. Bye-bye. <laughs>